Hello, my name is Mark, and this video is to show you how to test the nicotine strength in your e-liquid using the new, grad, uh, the new cup and syringe method. It's very similar to the graduated cylinder method I demonstrated in an earlier video, uh, but I feel this method is actually a little bit easier and it is more accurate uh, when testing the nicotine strength. Uh, for supplies, you can go to www.eliquidtest.com and you get the test kit. Basically what it includes is your test chemicals, which are your 0.12N uh, sulfuric acid and your bromothalmal blue. You also get a, uh, a white uh, plastic cup. Uh, it's really good to use a white cup because you can tell the blue to yellow color change a lot easier. Um, you can use a clear glass on a white background on a white piece of paper, but it's harder to tell. With a white cup, it's nice and easy to tell. And you also need two 3 milliliter uh, syringes with 0.1 milliliter markings on them. I also recommend, um, if you already have mil uh, syringes, I also recommend getting syringes with uh, short, this has a 5 8 inch needle, and it's a 22 gauge, so it's nice and skinny and allows for more accurate testing. Um, most DIYers uh, needles are usually 18 gauge, a little bit thicker and a little bit longer. Um, having a nice short skinny needle allows for accurate testing. And you also need your, um, your distilled water. It's cheap, you can pick it up at your local grocery store for like $1.50 a gallon. Uh, the rest of the supplies, again, and these instructions in written format uh, can be found at eliquidtest.com. And this method, I give credit to Kurt of ECF. He uh, brought something like, up like this using a cup and syringe in the forms. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is rinse out your cup and rinse out your, um, rinse out your uh, syringes with uh, distilled water to get any contaminants out. And then go ahead and get your, uh, your nicotine e-liquid that you want to test. It can be you know your base nicotine. Uh, for the most part, it does work with pre-made flavored uh, e-liquid. Um, some e-liquid contains uh, high acids, which makes the test not possible. Um, but typically, it's either the test is completely not possible, or the results are very accurate. There's very, uh, uh, very few uh, margin in between. So I have 24 milligram uh, base nick that I have here that I want to test. And the first step is to measure out one two or three milliliters of your nicotine. So I'm going to go ahead and take the needle off my uh, syringe um, because otherwise we'll be able to suck it up through this uh, skinny needle. I'm going to go ahead and suck up two milliliters. Now I said one, two, or three because uh, that's the power of using the cup. Uh, using one milliliter will uh, use the least amount of acid and the least amount of juice. Um, however, your margin of error on the test is anywhere between two and four milligrams. So you can, if you're testing a 100 milligram nick, it'll be off by about four milligrams, which is okay when you're testing high nick. But if you're testing something like 18 milligram nick, you don't want to be off by four milligrams. So in that case, uh, you'd want to use, um, use two, two milliliters. Uh, if you're testing two milliliters of your e-liquid, your results are only going to be off by one to two milligrams. And if you test using three milliliters of your e-liquid, your results are going to be pretty much spot on. However, using three milliliters uses three times more acid than you would do if you were testing it in uh, one milliliter nicotine. So I'm going to use uh, two milliliters. So. Basically, I took my syringe here. I'm going to get the air bubbles out. So I got exactly 2 milliliters of my tw supposedly 24 milligram e liquid. So I'm going to put that in the cup. I'm going to add six or eight drops of blue. Okay. 
Then you want to add some distilled water. Now, it doesn't need to be exact. You can just roughly guesstimate about 10 milliliters. Basically, you just want it so um, the solution is thin enough to easily be mixed. Okay, so now I have a nice blue solution. Now I'm going to want to take my acid, dip the cup off, take the top off, and I want to measure out three milliliters of my acid. Okay, measure out a little bit more than three. And get the air bubbles to the top. Basically, I have exactly three milliliters of my acid in my syringe. <clears throat> now the rest of the procedure is pretty simple. Basically, you're going to slowly add your acid into your solution and swirling it and mixing it until your solution turns all yellow. It's going to go from blue to bluish green to green to greenish yellow and then it's going to be 100% all yellow. So I'm going to start adding it and mixing it. Now it's still blue. Still blue. Now I'm adding about maybe, maybe 0.2 milliliters at a time, 0.1. Still blue. Okay, now it's starting to turn color a little bit. Okay, now it's greenish. Now it's like a it's a nice, nice greenish yellow now. Now I'm gonna start adding a little bit less each time. Okay, and just a little bit more. Boom. Now I have a 100% yellow solution. And now I'm going to look at my syringe. And I have one half milliliter left in my syringe. So that means I added two and a half milliliters of acid. Now, just keep in mind is if you're doing it, if you're testing some higher nicotine strength, and you actually use all of your uh, acid and you have to add more acid to your syringe later, then um, don't forget that you did that. So you could have added like maybe 4.5 milliliters of acid. But in this test, I added 2.5 milliliters of acid. So that's uh, my magic number. Now, I want to multiply the 2.5 milliliters by the, uh, the magic number of 19.47 if I was testing one milliliter of, of e-liquid. If I'm testing two milliliters of e-liquid, I want to multiply it by 9.735 which is half of 19.47. And then if I'm testing three milliliters of uh, e-liquid, I want to multiply it by 6.49, which is one third. So if I'm tripling the amount of uh, e-liquid I'm testing to three milliliters, then I got to uh, multiply it by one third of the magic number of 19.47. Confused yet? Uh, hopefully not. So anyways, I, uh, I'm testing two milliliters of acid or sorry, two milliliters of nicotine, and I use 2.5 milliliters of acid. So I want to take my 2.5 milliliters of acid, multiply that by 9.735, and that actually comes out to be 24.33. So that is my milligram per milliliter nic content. So what I tested was 24.33, which is actually 24, uh, using two significant digits. Um, so basically it was spot on. Um, that's the test. Go ahead and clean up, throw everything down the sink, um, and uh, I hope you find it as easy as I do to test your e-liquid. Thank you.